welcome Clara Barton to our 2020 awards night. Now we know that this isn't a normal awards night and it isn't what it would regularly look like, but we still wanted to celebrate uh, those seniors that we know deserve that recognition. So please join us today in giving seniors those awards. So without further delay, let's get things started. We're gonna start off with our principal, Dr. Foreman. Parents, guardians, distinguished faculty, and our honors awards recipient from Clara Barton High School's graduating class of 2020. My name is Dr. Richard A. Foreman, and I've been honored to serve as the principal of Clara Barton High School for the past 13 and a half years. We cannot ignore the impact of recent current events on our lives. We must be part of the solution and our voices, intellect, creativity, re resiliency, optimism, and vision for a more and just equitable school, society, and world. The diversity of individuals marching the streets around the globe in protest is a sign that large numbers of individuals from all walks of life are realizing that the injustices against any one of us is an injustice against all. You, the honest student at Clara Barton High School, have proven that you are not satisfied with the status quo. You are collectively on a trajectory for success. You have experienced an abrupt and traumatic separation from your teachers, friends, and daily professional routines. You have watched and learned ongoing news reports, hearing that 800 plus New Yorkers were succumbing to COVID-19 daily during March and April. Despite all the negativity surrounding you and fear of the unknown, you have stayed the course towards academic success. You are indeed courageous students who have emboldened to speak up and speak out. Remember, we were all in this together. The health and well-being of each and every one of us is truly the concern of all. I know that each and every one of you will reach professional success as evidenced by your sterling academic and some of your athletic progress to date. I wish you all a lifetime of professionalism and personal success. Hi, good day. My name is Andrea Isaacs and I'm one of the guidance counselors here at Clara Barton High School. It gives me great honor to be able to come today to award our well-deserved recipients of the class of 2020. I would just like to send a general congratulations to the entire class of 2020. There's been so much that's been happening in our world within the past few months, and you guys still stayed on top and did what you need to do. So I am definitely proud of you. I'm gonna start the awards today with our top two awards, our valedictorian and our salutatorian award. These two students that are receiving these honors today have received the top average from the time they entered our school in 2016 up until this moment. So our valedictorian award today is being given to Shirley Belval. Our salutatorian award is being given to Savannah Williams. Congratulations to these well-deserving ladies. They have worked extremely hard from the day that they entered our building, again, up until this moment. And I know that we're gonna be hearing great things from them in the future. So again, congratulations to Shirley and Savannah. The next award that I'm gonna be giving out today also goes to a well-deserving young lady. This is entitled the Chancellor's Remarkable Achievement Award. This award is being given to Becky Paul Odionhin. And I sure hope I said her name correctly, but Becky, congratulations. Next up is our Perfect Attendance Award. Our Perfect Attendance Award today is being given to Miriam Cease. Congratulations, Miriam. There's several awards that you're gonna be hearing during the day that's been given from outside organizations, maybe from politicians, maybe from the Marines. So you'll be hearing that from time to time. But this next one that I'm going to give to you is being given from the American Federation of School Administrators Award. And today we have chosen Kristalina Francois as a recipient of that award. Congratulations, Kristalina. Every year, the State Department honors several students, our top seven students in our graduation class, and they are given the scholarship for academic excellence. This year, we have seven students that have received this award. There's one top award and the other six 
were small awards. I don't have the actual financial amount that's gonna be given, but I am gonna be mentioning the names of these students. The top award is going to be given to Shirley Belval. Again, for the Scholarship for Academic Excellence, Savannah Williams. Next up, Miranda Mejia. Shania Jordan. Anicia Richards. Kisiwa Roxon. And the last for that scholarship for academic excellence goes to Nyoka Morgan. Every year, the United States Marine Corps gives us three high school awards in the areas of Distinguished Athlete Award, the Scholastic Excellence Award, and a Musical Excellence Award. This year, our recipients for these awards are as follows. The Distinguished Athlete Award is being given to Ebony Hardy. Scholastic Excellence Award, Shirley Belval. And the Musical Excellence Award is being given to Zebra Pluvios. Congratulations, ladies, on behalf of the United States Marine Corps. As you know, we are a school for health professions, but in addition to that, we have our Gateway Honors Program. There are two students that will be receiving the Gateway Honors Program Scholarship. They applied for it and they received it. So this year's awards recipients are Shirley Belval and Blaise Pierre. We are also giving out a Gateway Leadership Award this young lady has done remarkable work for the Gateway Program as a student here. And this award is being given to Maureen Lumos. Congratulations to all three of you. Clara Barton High School has several organizations that we are affiliated with that our students participate on the outside. One of these programs being the YWCA, where several of our young ladies have been a part of this program for maybe two or so years. They have received awards on the outside, but we wanna make sure that we do announce them here. So these awards, again, have been given by the YWCA, and I'm gonna mention those recipients at this time. The Marengoff Scholarship for $1,000 was given to Shirley Belval. There were two awards for the Making the Impossible Possible Scholarship, again, from the YWCA. And these students are receiving $500 scholarships. The first one being Cora Dubois. And the second student being Marcinese Fields. Congratulations, and we thank you, ladies, for your participation in the program and helping our school to look amazing. The last awards that I'm gonna be giving out today is for the Coming to America Award. We have a former teacher that has given to this award, donated money for this award for the past, I would like to say three to four years. But this year we have an anonymous donor and there were several students that applied for this scholarship. We have two first place winners, a second and a third place winner. So our two first place winners are Elena and Deladze, and Marcinese Fills. Our second place winner for the Coming to America Award goes to Taina Lalane. And our third place winner goes to Kristalina Francois. Ladies, thank you very much for taking your time out to do these essays and to all of you that have completed essays. Always remember, you have to be in it to win it. Congratulations again to the entire class of 2020, and I wish you guys continued success. Take care. I would like to congratulate the class of 2020, but I would also like to give a special congratulations to those of you that have continued to maintain high honors despite all the tribulations. You have persevered. The following students are recipients of the National Honors Award. Jirana Akampeng. Fajana Ahmed. Teresa Maria Ariola. 
Dana Babua. Hamid Sheikh Bamba. Nasaiba Wallacefield. Shirley Belval. Danielle Brown. Imani Brian Sima. Christopher Celestin. Marianne Cis. Awali Diallo. Kidmani Dorseville. Cora Du Bois. LNA and Del Laz. Anna Faustin. Lene Francois. Tamiu Guerrier. Servrine Hedoville. Shania Jordan. Shanique Laguerre. Taina Laline. Alyssa Lescoufler. Christine Lockhart. Aliyah Major. Celeste McKenzie. Miranda Mejia. Nayoka Morgan. Lenmard Paul. Deborah Plavoise. Onisha Reed. Anicia Richards. Kisiwa Baxen. Siomara Balsen. Gastonia Victor. Esther Williams. Savannah Williams. Tahira Wright. I would like to congratulate the recipients of the National Honor Society Award. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, in the general awards category, we have Attorney General Letitia James Triple C Awards, Joshua Charles, Mariam Cease, Tamiu Guerrier, Guchin Jean, Janatul Naim. District Attorney Eric Gonzalez Certificate of Excellence. Raul J. Baker. Darren Lino. Comptroller Scott M. Stringer Student Achievement Award. Marcini Spies. Athalia Jack Richards. Jennifer Aguilar. Borough President Eric Adams Above and Beyond Award. Imani Brian Seaman. Borough President Eric Adams Academic Excell Excellence Award, Savannah Williams. New York State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli Achievement Award, Asa Moses. The Public Advocate Award, Nancy Armardi, Edward Gray. Assemblyman Walter T. Mosley Certificate of Merit. Lugina Dormias, Kayla Henrique Dunlap, New York City Council Speaker Corey Johnson Achievement Award, Samantha Alexander, Hamed Bamba, Senator Kevin Parker Rising Star Awards, Yasin Ali, Luray Forbes, New York City Council Member Lori Cumbo Rising Star Award, Celeste McKenzie, Siamara Valson, Congresswoman Yvette D. Clark Recognition Award, Christina Gideon, Anicia Richards, Clara Barton High School Service Award, Amani Kassim, Clara Barton High School Most Improved Award, Lydia Teague. Congratulations to the 2020 Peer Leader Mentors from the Peer Group Connection Leadership Program. Yasin Ali, Raul J. Baker, Sarah Baptiste, 
Angelica Barnaby, Imani Brian Seaman, Joshua Charles, Kayla Cole, Nevea Davis, Vetsa Etienne, Carrie Ann Gaspard, Aaron Graham, Danae Gordon, Amaya Harper, Krista Hospitalis, Aaron Moses Idowu, Maureen Lumos, Stanley Metho, Celeste McKenzie, Crystal Narain, Becky Paul Odeonhin, Erica Pierre, Lisa Salvadon, Yamalet Taveras, Siamara Valsin, Kiana Wallace, Brian White. You all did an amazing job and we are very proud of you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Holgate, Assistant Principal of Guidance. First of all, I would like to say a hearty congratulations to all the awardees being recognized here today. At this time, for the past 18 years, is when the Alistair Thomas Award would be given out. I taught Alistair at IS-285, Mar 11 Junior High School, many years ago, and I witnessed his academic aptitude firsthand. Miss Finn accepted him into Clara Barton, and within a year, he continued to solidify his academic propensity. Alistair Thomas had only completed ninth grade, but had garnered 22 credits. He was a talented musician, a great scholar, and was destined to be a member of Clara Barton basketball team the following year. But 22 years ago, during the summer between ninth and 10th grade, we lost him tragically. He drowned while on a church picnic as he attempted to save a friend who was having difficulties in the water. His parents found the strength and resolution to contain their grief, and every year for the past 18 years, they have offered a scholarship to a Clara Barton student who exemplifies some of the qualities and aspiration that their son possessed. To show our appreciation to the family and to keep their son's name alive and current in Clara Barton, Last year, we named the guidance office, room 205, the Alistair Thomas Guidance Suite. Two months ago, as the family started to initiate the selection of this year's recipient to honor their son, tragedy, tragedy struck them again. Alistair's mother, Miss Bridget Thomas, got afflicted with the coronavirus and passed away. Her husband, Mr. Richard Thomas, had also gotten afflicted with the virus, and fortunately, he recuperated. In the midst of the family's tragedy, they, put, they had to put a pause on their search for this year's awardee. However, the Clara Barton family decided to come together and rekindle the effort for this year, not only to honor Alistair's memory, but also his mother's, Miss Bridget Thomas. On behalf of the Clara Barton family, I would like to recognize the Thomas family and thank them for being there for a Barton student for the past 18 years. This year's recipient is a young man who in his essay showed that he finds a satisfaction and a fulfillment doing some of the things that Alistair exemplified. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please put your hands together and help me recognize this year recipient of the Alistair Osman Thomas and his mother, Miss Bridget Thomas Award. He is Mr. Aaron Moses Idowa. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Ms. Crichton and I am the Assistant Principal of the Mathematics Department and for Paraprofessionals. We would like to congratulate Savannah Williams on her overall excellence in mathematics. Congratulations. Next, we would like to congratulate Shirley Belval in her overall excellence in mathematics. Much success to you young ladies and continue to grow and love mathematics. All the best. Thank you. And welcome back and thank you for joining us for our 2020 Senior Recognition Awards. My name is Mr. Meyerson and I am the Assistant Principal of Health, Physical Education, Business, Art, Music, and also of the school aides in the school. So tonight I do have a few awards and we're going to present them right now. So to start I would I'm going to start with our Art and Music Awards. So first is Excellence in Ceramics, and our winner is Janatul Fardas. Next, we have Excellence in Overall Art, and we have two winners for that. Our first winner is Jenny Castell, and second is Lensky Gregory. Award for Music Excellence, Erica Pierre. On to the Health and Physical Education Awards. The New York City Association of Assistant Principals Health and Physical Education Award. I also have two winners of this award, and the first winner is Deborah Pluvios. The second winner is Aaron Moses Idawu. And finally, we have service to the Health and Physical Education Office. I have a few winners, and they are Kayla Bennett, Aaron Moses Idawu, Ariel Jack, as well as Deborah Pluvios. Congratulations to all the award winners. I now pass it along to my colleague, Mrs. McLean Chin. Hello, parents, guardians, friends, family, Dr. Foreman, faculty, and staff of Clara Barton High School. My name is Mrs. McLean Chin, and I am the athletic director here at Clara Barton, and I'm going to be announcing the sports awards today. Before I begin, I'm going to read a quote from the late, great Jackie Robinson, an African-American baseball player. I think the good and the great are only separated by the willingness to sacrifice. This quote resonated with me because so many of our students have sacrificed so many things throughout the years. Some of them have participated for four years, some just one year. But in actuality, these young men and women have sacrificed so many things. They've sacrificed hanging out with their friends, um, jobs, just different things that are important to students. They have sacrificed in order to be on these teams. And I would like to say thank you. Without you, our programs would not be able to, to survive. So I'm going to announce the awards, but before I announce the awards, I would like to say I apologize ahead of time if I mispronounce anyone's name. I have not said these names in a while and it may be a little difficult. So again, I apologize. The Louisa Underhill PSAL certificate goes to Gretchen Jean of the, volley of the bowling team. The PSAL graduation award goes to Becky Paul Ad Adohan. The Wingate Memorial Award, Savon Charles on the boys basketball team. Clara Barton Panther Award, Joshua Charles on the boys basketball team. The Clara Barton Lady Panther Award, Ebony Hardy on the girls track and field team. The MVP Boys Basketball Award goes to Christopher Celestin. The MVP Girls Basketball Award goes to 
Ashanti Johnson. The MVP Bowling Award goes to Euretha Kleitis. The MVP Cricket Award goes to Raul J. Baker. The MVP Girls Volleyball Award goes to Erica Pierre. The Girls Track and Field MVP goes to Ebony Hardy. The Boys Track and Field Award goes to Aaron Moses Adewu. I would like to thank all of my coaches that have helped me out this year. Miss Denny Bishop for the girls track and field team and cross country. Coach Mason for the boys track and field team and cross country. Coach Fines who assisted with both teams. Coach Bedell of the girls volleyball team. Coach Campbell, who coached the boys and girls cricket team and the boys and girls bowling team. Coach Jeremiah, who coached the girls basketball team. Coach Ra, who assisted Coach Jeremiah in coaching the girls basketball team. Coach Sprantz, who coached, it, coached the boys basketball team. And Coach Dwayne, who assisted Coach Sprantz in coaching the boys basketball team. I would like to thank you guys because without you, my job would be a whole lot harder. Your dedication and your, your determination to get the paperwork in, make sure all the kids were eligible um, was great and I appreciate it. And lastly, um, nope, not lastly, I would like to thank Ms. Zizzler and Ms. Khadija for getting those permits in and last minute permits that I um, may have forgot to turn in. I would like to thank you for helping me out with that. I would like to thank School Safety for assisting and protecting my athletes, myself, my coaches during every game and competition. Um, I would like to thank Dr. Foreman for um, being there and supporting all of our teams. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm Ms. Connell. I would like to thank you for helping me and um, your staff for helping me when my audits came around. Thank you very much. And um, lastly, I would like to um, thank Mr. Meyerson. Mr. Meyerson, you've always been there to support me, even when I am not 100% correct, which is not often. I would like to say thank you because you've always been there and you've always helped me with all the questions, my many questions, you've always been there to answer them to the best of your ability. And you've always supported me in this transition of becoming an athletic director. So I would like to thank Clara Barton. Thank you. Thank you all the teachers for coming out and supporting my students for all of their games. Um, Mr. Kenlock and um, I'm forgetting so many people. I haven't been at work for a while. But I would like to thank everyone for supporting and being there for um, the sports teams. Thank you. Good afternoon, class of 2020, and congratulations on your success and moving to the next chapter of your life. My name is Ms. Kavina, and I'm the Assistant Principal of Health Careers and Science. Now, I'm going to name the students who are receiving awards in Health Careers. The award for Excellence in Clinical Practice for Dental Assistant Program goes to Sanja Smith. The award for Excellence in Oral Surgery in the dental assistant program goes to Anissa Ingram. The award for excellence in pediatric specialist goes to Kristalina Francois. The award for best academic excellence and manual dexterity in dental technology goes to Michelle Collins. The award for academic excellence in dental technology goes to Crisante Andrew. The award for best manual dexterity goes to Krista Hospitalis. The award for clinical achievement goes to Betsa ATM. The award for most improved goes to Aniola Olalekin. 
The award for leadership goes to Michelle Collins. Next up is medical assistant program. The award for academic excellence in medical assisting goes to Blessed Webb. The award for clinical achievement in medical assisting goes to Yasin Ali. The award for best all around achievement goes to Cora Dubois and Tahira Wright. Next up is nurse assistant. The award for academic excellence in nurse assistant goes to Aliyah Henry. The award for clinical achievement in nurse assistant goes to Brianna Lawson. The award for best all around achievement in nurse assistant goes to Joanna Achimpo. Practical nursing program is up next. The award for Former Principal Sylvia Ballot Award goes to Dana Babulal. For academic excellence, Dana Babulal. The award for academic excellence goes to, as well, to Christine Lockhart. The award for clinical excellence goes to Nyoka Morgan and Anicia Richards. The award for Nursing Excellence Award goes to Christine Lockhart. The award for Most Improved goes to Esther Williams and Gastonia Victor. Next is Vision Technology. The Best Academic Excellence and Manual Dexterity in Vision Technology goes to Nasaiba Feathersfield. Award for Academic Excellence goes to Kayla Cole. The award for Best Manual Dexterity goes to Shanice Allen. The award for Clinical Achievement goes to Simone Jeremiah. The award for Most Improved goes to Naomi Baptiste. The award for Leadership goes to Nasaiba Feathersfield. And now I will present the awards for the science uh, department. The award for Science Supervisors Association Award goes to Miranda Meja. Outstanding overall achievement in science goes to Becky Paul Odenne. Outstanding achievement in chemistry goes to Miranda Meja. Outstanding achievement in earth science goes to Becky Paul Adinen. Outstanding achievement in earth science goes to as well Anicia Richards. Outstanding achievement in natural disasters goes to Brianna Lawson. And last, outstanding achievement in forensics goes to Jenna Till Ferratis. Thank you, and congrats again, class of 2020. Bye. Shirley Belval, first award, highest average in English. Joshua Charles, excellence in English award. Hanisa Reed, excellence in English award. Celeste McKenzie, Excellence in the Reading and Analysis Award. Bianca Profetti, Excellence in the Reading and Analysis Award. Miranda Magia, Excellence in Writing. Esther Williams, Excellence in Writing. Kristalina Francois, Excellence in Speech. Servine Hedouville, Excellence in Speech. Shirley Belval, Academic Excellence in Spanish. Celeste McKenzie, Academic Excellence in Spanish. Miranda Magia, Academic Excellence in Spanish. Yamilet Tavares, Academic Excellence in Spanish. Imani Brian Simon, Academic Excellence in Spanish. 
Sabana Williams, Academic Excellence in Spanish. Figaro de Jair Blanche Schwartz Award. Samantha Alexander, Academic Excellence. Samantha Alexander, Community Service. Kelly Kayala, Overcoming Obstacles Award. Sabrina Morea, Over Overcoming Obstacles Award. Amanda Rothington, Over Overcoming Obstacles Award. Kelly Kayala, Arts and Creativity Award. Hi everyone. My name is Lynette Alexander. I'm the assistant principal of the Social Studies Department. It gives me great pleasure to be here today with you to celebrate the achievements of our graduating seniors, class of 2020. In fact, I'd like to say a special congratulation to the seniors, class of 2020. I wish you all the best that is yet to come. This is just the start. So without further ado, I would like to announce the oh, Social Studies Award for our seniors. I would start with the Award for Excellence in U.S. History and Government. Kedman Dawsonville. Crystal Nasserain. Becky Paul. The next award, Award for Excellence in Economics. That, that award goes out to Samantha Alexander, Joshua Charles, Cora Du Bois, Ashura Jones Cyrus, Jessica Watson. The next award, Advanced Placement Achievement in Government. And that award goes out to Shirley Belval. Shania Jordan, Crystal Narain, Becky Odian Hen, Siomara Valsane, Savannah Williams. The next award, Excellence in Participation in Government, Ashura Jones Cyrus, Miranda Mehi. Sabina Victor, Award for Excellence in Global History and Geography goes out to Farjana Ahmed and the New England Society in the City of Brooklyn Book Award goes out again to Farjana Ahmed. The next award, the Hackett Certificate for proficiency in oratory. And that goes out to Kiana, Kiara Cole. The next award, Association of Teachers of Social Studies, UFT award, it goes out to Elmani Brian Simon. Last but not least is Corporation in Government. And that goes out to Alphelia Jack Richards. Congratulations, every one of you. We are very proud of you. I wish you all the best, lots of success, lots of happiness. Keep on, continue to grow. Don't stop. This is just the beginning. I know you have a bright future awaiting you. So take care, have a wonderful day, and stay safe. Congratulations, Class of 2020 graduates. LIU Garrup is so pleased to honor and recognize a few students with a variety of awards for their participation and commitment in the Garrup program over the past few years. Our first award is the Garrup Senior of the Year, and this will be going to Miriam Sissy. Congratulations. Our next award will be going to two students and this is called the Distinguished Commitment to Garrup Award. The first student is Athalia Jack Richards. 
congratulations. And our other student is Edward Gray. Congratulations. And our final award is the Garrett Transformative Award, and this will be going to Blessed Webb. Congratulations, seniors, for all your hard work. We look forward to hearing all about the great things you will continue to do as you embark on this new journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. Despite what's going on, you deserve to be celebrated. Hi, I'm Ms. Parker Badman from Liberty Partnerships Program, and I'd like to congratulate the wonderful young ladies who were part of our program, especially the young ladies who volunteered, worked with me for anywhere from three to four years, being part of the Sisters of Success Leadership Program. So I want to say congratulations to the following beautiful young ladies, to Shirley DelVal, Savannah Williams, Shanique Laguerre, Sabrine Miranda Mejia, Marcinice Fowl, Mathea Roberts, Athalia Jack Roberts, Kiara Cole, Deborah Pluvio, and Becky Paul. Congratulations, you guys. You deserve the best. So we want to thank you all once again for joining us tonight on this Senior Awards Recognition Night. We hope that you had a lovely day and we want to congratulate once again all the winners. So with that said, those are all the announcements for today. Make sure you go to all your classes, behave in the hallways, and... Have a great day, Barton. Have a great day, Barton. Have a great day, Barton. Bye.